how do you see the mushroom space in Nigeria currently? It's not actually, if you go online, you see like more than four or five years, people have been talking about this thing. <laughs> okay, well, the first thing that anyone that is interested in the mushroom space should know is that mushrooms thrive in three industries. One, health. Two, wealth. And three, longevity. Mushroom has active ingredients, nutrients, and minerals that makes it a healthy option for anyone and families to add in their diets, in their meals. It has vitamin A, B, C, D, and uh, has um, lots of mineral composites and active ingredients. So because I wouldn't want to go to the technicalities no. of that so that anyone from any background can I'm easily understand, understand um, the concept is the mushroom we produce has the ability to build your immune system and make you healthy. It has people who have um, high BP, high blood pressure. Mushroom has a modulator. Mushroom serves as a modulator to regulate your blood pressure. Uh, people who have diabetes, mushroom also serves to take care of that diabetes to improve your health for people who have diabetes. People who have ulcer, it's a massive thing for you to go into um, to add to your diet. It controls that cells and because of its um, ability to do immunotherapy, immunotherapy is where a plant builds your immune system, a plant or whatever you take in builds your immune system to fight against your health challenges. So that's what it means, immunotherapy. So mushroom has that capacity. It's been tested for people who have cancer and it's built the immune system to fight against cancerous cells and the people recovered from cancer and some other health challenges. Yeah, I saw that one also online. Yeah. yeah. So for that... But what particular variety is that? Is it all the varieties? Yeah, the, no, the particular variety you talked about, yeah, the article I, I studied online, what particular variety is that? For mushrooms, there are two major class of mushrooms. We have the culinary or edible mushrooms and we have the medicinal mushrooms. Now, in the medicinal class of mushroom, you have the turkey tail mushroom, you have the um, Ganodema lucidium and other varieties. This specific set of mushrooms are all for health benefits. So for the cancer issues and other health benefits, the that's their active function. Then for the culinary ones, the lion's mane, the oyster, the milky mushroom, and the likes of that, the button mushrooms and the likes of that. They also have these um, health active ingredients, but not in so much percentage as those that are just for health um, medicinal peoples have. So, they serve both the culinary peoples and also the medicinal, but not in so much abundance that they can compete with those that are basically for the medicinal peoples. So that's the background on the mushroom stuff. Okay. Now, because of its health benefit and all that, it has gotten serious traction in the marketplace. You can use mushroom as substitute for your red meat. Now, when you're getting older, Red meat is not so advisable for the elderly people. Is, is, is that continuous? Yes. Um, an adult needs about 20 to 30 grams per kg of your weight. So mushroom can give you your content of protein per day, depending on your weight. So it's highly proteinous and people should add it to okay, their meals. Sure. So I am trying as much as possible not to go into technicalities. So. Now, driving down to, we've talked a bit about the health part of mushrooms. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, so let's the business talk part. about the business people are, people are watching now and they want to know, um, I want to go into this or somebody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so let's talk about the business part of mushroom now. When you, you look at the business part of mushroom, mushroom is one agro venture that you can do with little startup capital with little space requirement because you need an enclosed space. If you have two rooms, that's perfect to start up your mushroom. If you have a poultry farm that you want to renovate to set to the standard of mushroom farming, 
that's also a perfect space. You don't need to go till the soil and all that, especially for some varieties though. So you don't need to go till the soil and do all that. So be because of this comfortability makes it a very, very profitable niche. And apart from the little cost it takes to set up, mushrooms are profitable, highly profitable. The human race and people who have money are now looking forward to healthy options of meals. And that is why mushroom is now getting serious traction in the marketplace. For the medicine, you see, you see, mushroom is very, very lucrative. That's yes. what you're saying. Very, very lucrative. Coming from somebody who has a mushroom farm, I'll take that very serious. Very, very lucrative. Very, very lucrative. Now, I'll, I'll get, I'll get into detail. That very detailed, very, very lucrative. So there are different ways you can make profit from the mushroom business. Yeah. So you can decide. That's why I said you need to learn the value chain first. There are people whose job is they just produce and they sell in bags. The minimum price you can sell a bag, depending on the location, sometimes ready from 1,000 to 2,000, ready to produce bags. So those are the price range. Now, and depending on the species of the mushroom too, so price range per uh, bag varies. So let's say minimum you can get 1,000 to 2,000, let's say, and let's do an average of 2,000 Naira per bag because of, by the day, since cost of production, you need manpower and all that, it's increasing. It also adds in what people would want to sell, they are ready to fruit back. So that's the least stage you can start making profits from. So let's say you want to sell ready to fruit bags by 1,000, and in your production cycle, it costs you about 100 to 200,000. Max, it wouldn't even get to 100 to 200,000 for you to get up to 500 bags. So I'm just saying, at worst case scenario, you paid or you spent up to 100 to 200,000 to get 500 bags. And you took care of the 500 bags within that four weeks and they are ready to sell. Now you get a farmer who doesn't want to go through the stress of producing. They just want to get the ready to fruit back fruits and sell to the market. Okay. So those people get from you at 1,005 to 2,000 or 2,000 as our average cost now. So 2,000 multiplied by 500 bags, it's giving you about, I think, a million. Yes, a million and you used 200,000. Sometimes to... You used 200,000 to get the 500 bags. Uh, you know, you know when people hear, when people hear uh, things like this and... Uh, bet me, Nigerians, a lot of people... Well, Nigerians are not lazy. <laughs> and... and this is even the way I'm listening to you now. It sounds logical, straight. Uh, but the other thing is, I think there should be more explanation to this. You mean if I spend like 200k, I can get close to like 800 to 1 million? Let me just be conservative about it, right? Because I think you need to like like explain this in more because people be watching. Yeah, a lot of guys they're looking for what to do. Yes, yeah. work is not there. Even work you get these days. Inflation makes most of the work self yeah, yeah, as if you're a slave to it. You don't have enough money to go to work anymore. Once you are not paid a very huge amount of money to work now, you're actually wasting your time because you'll be able to save anything, feeding and all that thing. Take the basic things we just take care of. Take all your money. So I want you to be very, very clear about how much you can invest into it and how much you get out of this thing. Now, I sometimes would try to tell people that I wouldn't want to tell you, based on what I can do, that putting 200K, you can get 1 million, no. In, the, in, the, in the agro space, there's what we call factors of production. Mm -hmm. And these factors of production is land, labor, capital, and the entrepreneur. These are the four factors of production. You must have land, uh, although this time around our land space is not much. You must, have, you must put in factor of labor, what would labor cost you and all that. Then you must put in capital. You must need capital to run the agro space. Then the last part is the entrepreneurial mind. Okay. For the fact that I have a background of the marketing um, years experience and other skills I have, I understand the market to the point where I can turn over money. I can turn over money because of my knowledge of the market. Marketing, yeah. 
and then the value chains and how to run around making all this work. So if you don't have that knowledge and you put in money, you might not get the result I am getting. getting but so definitely, definitely you would get results. And that is why I said, first of all, learn the value chains. Once you understand the value chains... Are you considering a, a kind of program on this? Like running... A training? A training. Because people want to understand this better. Um, um, for, for now, I run trainings. I run trainings. But for now, what I'm key and interested in right now is to do what I call information marketing. Okay. There's a whole lot of misconception about the mushroom space. And I'm taking out time to run a 90 days challenge that is starting on the 25th of September, 2023, and would run through to the 24th of December, uh, 2023. Within this 90 days challenge, I'm taking people through a walk where you look at different things you can do with mushrooms different avenues you can use mushrooms for. So I pour out in people throughout that 90 days, you try to eat mushrooms in different varieties, how you can prepare it this way, how you can prepare it that way for 90 days. Then when you understand all this, if you join us in this challenge, when you understand all this, you then come down and you say, okay, you can do this with mushroom. You can do this with mushroom. Let me produce my mushroom and target this area. And that single area you targeted can make you so much money and we're not competing the market. So that's why I said how much you put in and how much you get out varies. I can decide that my mushroom is targeted at people who have cancer and I'm producing medicinal mushroom. That one currently, the price of that one is very high. And uh, the last time I looked at I, I was trying to get it here in Nigeria. If the price, the least price you again uh, for Ganodema 1 kg was around 30,000 Naira. It must be very hard to grow. No, it is very interesting. Like the challenge, how do you people get involved in it? How do people get into it? Now, you're not paying anything to get involved in the 90 days challenge. But the only thing it's going to cost you is that once you come in contact, once you get my contact uh, within this video, yeah. video or the link below, you get my contact and you, you get across to me on WhatsApp, you must be ready to take the challenge seriously, which is you must eat mushrooms, you must get mushrooms around where you are, you must practicalize what we are doing. So once you give yourself to the process, at the end of the 90 days, you, you know so much about the mushroom space that like the level of knowledge I have now, you have that level of knowledge and you can comfortably tell people, eat mushroom for this, eat mushroom for this, use mushroom for this medication and all that. And once you have that knowledge, it can influence how much you make. Okay, as if you're interested in going into it. Yes, you can influence yeah. how much you make if you're now interested into going into the business of mushroom. Okay, you, you, in your farm now, you are, you are about to harvest the yeah. mushroom. Yeah, in my farm, that's why I said profitability varies. In my farm, we did about, uh, my farm capacity as a core member is 5,000 bags. Okay. 5,000 bags of mushrooms, uh, oyster mushrooms and ganadema. Now, I did a test run of 100 bags. You, you were in the farm, you've yeah. seen how the space is. So I did a test run of 100 bags, and then I started the challenge. So the only the order I got from the challenge, people interested in the challenge to eat Watch mushroom, yeah, to mushroom. participate and eat mushroom, alone has finished, cleared up the, order, the production yeah. we did. Yeah, capacity now, the 100 testing. Yeah, yes, the, every, the, the whole 100 uh, bags. first bags we did, everything is gone. Now, we are putting are you, in are to set up um, a 1,000 production in before October, so that by the end of October or so, they would have ready to fruit bags and mushrooms for the community. So that's why I said, your and any person, even if the person is not in Enugu, you can wave it Yes, I have some persons reaching out to me now from Oweri and other eastern states, and we're making way. If the person is outside the east, you can yes. see this. Person. If the person is outside the east, we can, can make package and, and yes, you can wave it, and then you get the ready to fruit bags or the mushroom for you to participate.